Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Critical Spotlight. My name is Rob Benke, co-founder of Halborn, and today we are joined by David Manzano. Uh, David, tell us a little bit about yourself and tell us about um, these critical findings that you recently found in a client of ours. Hey, Rob. Thanks for counting on me for this series. I'm super happy of being here. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm David Manzano, lead security engineer at Halborn. And I've been here at Halborn uh, for two years, and I work for the off-chain part of the security Halborn team. There were two critical issues that, in combination uh, for this client, caused uh, an even more critical impact. On one side, we had an insecure direct object reference, IDOR which is a lack of access control or authorization when you try to access to other users' resources. And on the other side, um, they were not check checking properly the take profit and stop loss values that users were submitting because it was possible to submit a really low value for take profit and a super high value for stop loss that caused instantly the position to be liquidated. So that way, uh, the combination of these two issues allowed a uh, malicious potential attacker to access other users' position, modify these two critical um, values or key points for trading, which are take profit and stop loss to cause inconsistency and liquidate the, the, the position for other users. Just another day here at Halborn, right? This is just like the kind of stuff yeah. that we're finding all day, every day. And and just to, you know, dive a little bit deeper, of course, you know, we were working on things on chain, like smart contract assessments all day, every day. These are two very specific major criticals in just the web app. So the off chain, just traditional penetration testing side of Halborn. So uh, obviously just so important to highlight how important a holistic security approach is not just the on-chain component. So, um, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you're doing all day, every day, David. Um, tell us a little bit about your methodology. Like, how how did you go about finding these? Well, um, in the off-chain team, we had a super high, a super big list of test cases that we created here at Halborn internally, and that way, following this list, we ensure that we don't miss any critical issue like these two ones we are presenting here today, um, because you are always following the same steps and the same testing for every client that we uh, assess here at Halborn. And yeah, uh, I, I I was just following the, the test cases uh, testing list, and I realized that combining these two critical issues uh, uh, I was able to cause uh, um, an even more critical impact here. Incredible. Um, yeah, I mean, thinking outside the box a little bit there, you know, using our standard test cases, but then, you yeah, know, obviously understanding, uh, you know, this really kind of shows the the art rather than the science, right? You you put the test case together, that's there, but then how do you how do you finesse that? So incredible. Um, what did we recommend to this client of ours? Uh, how to fix it? Like, what? How do you remediate something like this? Yeah, I think that they need to uh, set super strict authorization and access control mechanisms to avoid other users to access other users' positions, and as well, they need to to check and and keep an eye on all the data that is coming from, from users. I mean, every data input that is controlled by user may include potential malicious payloads or, or data. So it's super important to keep an eye on that and uh, clean and treat correctly the, the, the data input before passing out to, to, the, to the backend. Got it. Cool. Makes total sense. Um, you know, folks that are watching this, what can they do to prevent these kind of issues from popping up? Yeah, uh, I think that uh, our security assessments and code reviews and smart contract audits, everything, it's super, super important. Uh, and also do it regularly. 
But in my opinion, I think that it's also super important to train people and educate your employees inside a company in terms of security. Because if you have people uh, with good security awareness, uh, they will build code uh, in a secure way from scratch and not only in the final uh, phases of the life cycle when you uh, take a, a security assessment. Yeah, I mean, definitely makes sense. You know, having as many eyes on a code base as possible that one can afford. I mean, you have to think with a, in this case, it's a decentralized exchange, right? So there's got to be just tens, hundreds of millions of dollars of value locked up in these contracts, locked up um, and, you know, coerced through this front end. Um, and these are the kind of things that happen. So as much as one can afford having multiple code assessments um, and as many internal eyes on the code base as possible, incredible, as well as security awareness training along the way. So uh, these are all things that we can help out with Halborn though, for sure. So uh, David, thank you so much for your explanation today. Um, and thank you all for tuning in to another episode of Critical Spotlight. See you at the next one. Thanks again.